Captain Kennedy, skipper of the Canadian ship Beaver Bray, focal point in the London dock strike, in an exclusive Pathé News interview, exposes the agitators who brought about the stoppage that made 14,000 men idle. I greatly deplore the circumstances which have caused such worldwide interest in my ship Beaver Bay, and which have caused such disruption in the ports of this country. The strike of Canadian Seamen's Union was entirely a domestic affair, which have, should have been settled in Canada by Canadians. I am at a loss to understand how British dock workers have, have allowed themselves to be misled by false propaganda which was put around. Meanwhile, at the Ministry of Transport, the Big Five, empowered by the emergency regulations to take over the docks, begin their task. As outlined by Sir Alexander Maxwell, their chairman, the committee's task is to keep the docks working and food supply flowing. Supported by Sir Thomas Gardner, former ARP chief, and Sir Frederick Leggett, famed arbitrator, Sir Alexander says... This emergency committee has been set up to help in restoring the Port of London to full working life so that the free flow of commodities, especially those essential to the community, may be resumed in full vigour. In Dockland, deadlock still reigns. The pile-up of exports grows hourly. Motor manufacturers fear that production may have to be cut. Even when the dockers return, clearing up will take some days, and many overseas orders probably lost. With more than 6,000 servicemen, including 1,500 newly draft airmen working at the docks, Priority number one now centers on loading dollar-earning goods. Doing a fine job, the services have reduced the number of ships held up to 86. After three weeks, Britain's crisis still defies solution.